Hi DIYers, Jordan from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about the best wiring practices for your Simon XT system. We have a Simon XT system set up right here, and as you may know, the Simon XT has an AC transformer that's going to give it power. Now, when you purchase a new Simon XT system in the box, you're going to get a piece of wire that you can use to power the system. It's a 22 gauge wire, and it's about 8 feet long. Now the system, you can use the 22 gauge wire, you can also use a 18 gauge wire or even a 16 gauge wire to power it. The greater the gauges on your wire, the longer the run will be able to be without the power attenuating or dropping down. So if you do have a super long run, like you're tr plugging your transformer way far away from your panel, you're going to want to use the 16 gauge wire, which is thicker, or the 18 gauge wire at very least. The smaller the number of the gauges, the larger the wire is. It's a good way to remember it. So the 22 gauge that came with the system, we have actually used that to power this particular Simon XT. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna show you where the power connections are and how to connect it to the transformer. So on our XT right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hinge the panel open. We press these two buttons on the top, it opens the clips and the panel can swing down. And as you can see, I bumped it off of its, uh, hinge, but that's okay. I'm going to move our LT antenna out of the way, and here's the inside of the panel. This wire right here on these two terminals is our uh, power connection from our transformer. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to move it so you can. On the back of the system, you'll actually have labeling that tells you what each of these terminals do. As you can see, we have a hardwired, uh, hardwired terminals for sensors right here. We have a DC out. We have some other information. These are the terminals that we're focusing on right now, though. The 9VAC in and the 9VAC in. So I'm just going to put the panel back on our back plate so I can work on it. And then hinge it down. I'll move my antenna out of the way. All right, so I have the panel unplugged, so it's okay for me to, to touch the terminals and to work with the wiring. So I want to show you what the transformer looks like. This is the transformer that comes with the system. As it's AC, it doesn't matter which terminal you put your, uh, your wire on. They're both going to do the same thing, and there's no polarity on the system either. With an AC connection, either leg can be positive or negative, and you don't have to line them up with plus and minus. So just to show you what it looks like on the transformer itself, I'm going to unscrew these and I'm going to show you the spade leads that come on the wire that ships with the Simon. This, again, this is the wire that comes in the box with the Simon and on the terminal end, you have finished spade leads that you can use to install it to the transformer. These are super convenient as they're able to slip right under the transformer's uh, terminal screws. They fit nice and cleanly and they stay in one spot while you tighten it down. So I'm going to reinstall this one too. They give you a nice snug connection. Now on the panel itself, let me loosen these up. The terminal screws that are here for your power connection, they have a screw, but then they have a piece of metal below it that acts as a clamp to really make it hit the, really get you a good connection for your power connection. On your wire, when you do set it up, it is recommended that you strip off a piece of sheathing so you get a fresh piece of wire and then twist off the wire so it's nice and tight so you don't have any strands going anywhere and so it'll fit under our terminals nice and cleanly. There we go. So I'm going to insert one on one of the power terminals. Just hold it in one spot while you get the screw nice and snug. That clamp is going to bite down on the wire. And as you can see, it's a snug connection. So I'm going to do the same thing for a second power terminal. I have to loosen it up just a bit. Tighten it down. Nice and snug. So with that set up, we are ready to plug the system in. And it's ready to start getting power from its transformer. Not that difficult to connect the transformer to your Simon system. One other point that I do want to point out is that the backup battery, when you do install the system out of the box, you will want to plug this backup battery in. And it's kind of funky. Let me just show you what it looks like. It has these two connections that go to the panel. You're just going to want to make sure they're nice and secure on the terminals. And then these fit on either side of that clip in the panel itself. 
So it'll be nice and nice and clean. That's the best wiring practices for your Simon XT panel. If you do have any questions about connecting your Simon to power, installing it out of the box, or anything really concerning the system or service, feel free to give us a call 888-818-7728. And also head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want updates when we post future videos, hit the notification button below, and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.